hey guys and welcome back to my channel um today um we are gonna try i'm gonna try to achieve this eye look that i found online so um this is the eye look right here isn't that gorgeous so we're gonna try it out and see what we can get um so i will be using um the lottie dazzle palette and you can get purple from mixing this red color and this um, blue color. You can get purple out of it. But I'm wanting to get as close as possible to that look. So I went and bought a purple eyeshadow that's not Lama. So we're just going to get started. I already have, um, I can't even think. I already have my base face done. I already have primer on my lid. Just going to go in with our Feeling Neutral palette. I'm going to pick up this cream boat right here and we're going to. Lay that all over. I just like to go in and set our primer. It's nothing you have to do. So now I'm just going to pick up our um, dome brush and I'm going to go in with the. Um, let's go in for taupe for the best, which is this one right here. And let's work that into the um, crease. And we're going to carry it a little higher because it is a little higher up in that picture right there. So windshield wiper motions back and forth. I'm going to darken it up just a little bit. I'm just laid my brush in there just going to darken that up let me get this back I'm making sure I get that good and blended All right, so now we're gonna go in with the um, Lottie Dazzle Palette. I think, I'm not sure how I want to work this. Let me see. Let me, I'm gonna try with some um, tape just to get a really sharp line. So I'm just gonna pick up my little tape dispenser. I'm gonna put that on the back of the hand and lay it down a few times so it's not going to be as sticky and it's not going to pull as much on my skin so we're just gonna lay that down like so sorry my hair so get it however you want it angled might have got too much of this I did get too much of the stickiness off I've never used tape on my eye before so we'll just lay it down twice all right let's try it again all right so we have that down I think I'm gonna pick up the purple and work out of it to do the outer um, v section I think that's what I'm wanting to do so I'm just going to pick up this purple that I picked up it's nothing fancy if I can get in it let's try and see it looks like it might have some shimmer in it uh, not good sorry So I'm really just focusing this on the outer part first and we're just going to work our way inward is what I'm thinking. I keep on looking at my picture. Sorry, guys. So again, this purple is not... Um, it's not Limelight color. You 
can tell as much as I'm having to dig in here to get some color. One more time, picking up some color. We'll see what we got when we get finished with that. So now we're gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up some of the, um, sorry, I'm just cleaning my brush off so I can still use my brush. All right, so I think I'm gonna pick up some of this um, red color down here. It looks like there's some of that, um, yeah, I'm going to pick up some of it. All right, just a tad bit because I'm just wanting the pink and the orange to really show. And I don't have a big eyelid anyways. So we're going to go in with this pink right here. And I'm going to start right there. Maybe a little over. I'm going to feather those in together, blend those. All right, and now I'm going to pick up this orange color right here. I'm not wanting that on the bottom. Cleaning out the brush, and I'm going to blend that orange into that pink. Clean up that bottom. I love it. All right, let me pick up my blending brush, and we're just going to blend the top of these. So they just blend really smoothly with that transition color that we laid down. Love it. What do y'all think? I love it, love it, love it. Oh, yeah. Really sharp, crisp line. Love it. Then you can just pick up your powder puff brush. All right. So, they have purple on the lower lash line. So, I am going to pick up um, the same purple that I started out with. And I'm going to lay that under the lash line. <clears throat> going to pick up this um, purple liner. They have this on the water well. So I'm just going to place this right here on my water well as well. Well, if it had worked. This is why I love Lime Lots products. I don't have to worry about the pigmentation in them. This is not a Lime Lot product. I'm 
Well, that's about as broad as it's going to get. All right, now they have glitter running through um, right above the top here. And it's really pretty. I wouldn't personally um, do that. But they did, so we're going to try it out. Now, I could not find a glitter liner. When I did find, we'll try and see what we get. Let me brush out these lashes right here. I love that look. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so... They've got theirs right in, well, I guess they work theirs up. They don't have a hooded eye. With hooded eyes, it's so much harder to work these pretty eye looks. But we'll try it. Let's see what we get. So I picked up this little thing. It's a Wet n Wild Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. We'll try it. We're, we will try it and see what we get. All right, so let's. I don't think it's going to work the way we are wanting it to. Let me try this one. Let me pick up my little, um, this is a little thinner brush. Let's try this. I think we um, achieved it, guys. I think we did. I'm loving it. I bought um, this liquid liner right here. I don't think we're going to use it, though. I don't know. We might. Let me see what it looks like when I open it. think I would use on um, this so let's throw on our mascara and see what we got
All right, guys, I think we achieved it. Let's go in with some macaroon um, and during lip color. You could um, work any lip you wanted to. So guys, um, pretty close to having that look. I love the way it turned out. Of course, their glitter is um, darker than mine. But yeah. Love it. Alright guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.